We're witnessing a spacefaring power losing its ability to get to space. For the second time in two months, a Russian spacecraft docked with the ISS and has sprung a leak. How will this affect safety on the ISS? Well, due to meteorites or the Russian space industry itself being too old? What is it? Let's expose everything in today's episode of Alpha Tech. A Russian Progress supply ship successfully docked with the ISS early Saturday, but in an unlikely presumed coincidence, another Progress docked at a different port suffers a sudden loss of coolant similar to the incident that disabled a Soyuz cruise ship in December. It wasn't immediately known if Progress MS-2182S spacecraft suffered a malfunction or it might have been hit by space debris or a micrometeoroid like the small particle that ruptured a coolant line on that Soyuz MS-2268S crew ferry ship two months ago. The Russian space agency Roscosmos revealed a depressurization event via the agency's Telegram account, saying the space station's seven-member crew was in no danger but the post didn't specify which system was affected. NASA clarified that later in a brief conversation with astronaut Frank Rubio, who was aboard the station. Hey Frank, just want to make sure we put it out in the open in terms of status for 82P, Mission Control asked. You guys are probably already aware we had the TSC coolant leak out to space this morning. The leak has stopped, but at this point we believe it's completely leaked out. So not concerned from having an active leak on progress right now, from our perspective, the system's in a good stable configuration. The Russians configured 82P to a dormant low power mount, just keeping essential equipment powered. The progress was launched last October and is now loaded with trash and no longer needed equipment and scheduled to undock from the lab complex next Friday. Although the initial Roscosmos statement was vague about the depressurization event, Dmitry Strugovitz, a former head of space agency Roscosmos Press Service, later clarified it was a coolant leak. All of the coolant has leaked out, he said via telegram. Seriously, this is the second Russian spacecraft to suffer a cooling system leak in less than two months, both at the space station. December 14, 2022, as two cosmonauts were preparing to conduct a spacewalk outside the space station, the Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft docked nearby began to leak uncontrollably from its external cooling loop. The system carries heat away from the interior of the spacecraft. This Soyuz MS-22 was due to bring cosmonauts Sergei Prokhyev and Dmitry Patelin, as well as NASA's Frank Rubio, back to Earth in March. Russian engineers eventually declared that a micrometeorite had struck the external cooling loop of the spacecraft and deemed it unsafe to fly home. In January, officials from Roscosmos and NASA said a replacement Soyuz would launch and autonomously dock with the station in February. That crew would have flown in the damaged Soyuz MS-22, including Rubio, that will instead fly home in Soyuz MS-23 later in 2023. The leaky Soyuz MS-22 will make an autonomous return to Earth, no crew, likely in March. It's not clear how directly these leaky Progress and Soyuz spacecraft are related. According to NASA, one source, however, says there's preliminary data received from the Progress vehicle that indicates a similar cooling system issue. External cameras show flakes moving away from the Progress vehicle, frozen coolant that's similar to what was observed with the Soyuz MS-22. Failure after failure, Roscosmos said Saturday that the Progress incident will have no impact on the future station program, and that's likely true for Progress MS-21 at least. The spacecraft has already been packed with trash and other material to be removed from the station and was due to leave next week, and it'll burn up in Earth's atmosphere during re-entry. However, it seems too early to make a conclusion for a future mission. A critical question is, what caused the depressurization event observed Saturday? It seems improbable that a second micrometeorite would have struck a second Russian spacecraft in two months, and it raises doubts about whether the Soyuz MS-22 failure was indeed a micrometeorite issue. Russia's never released images of the impact site, and instead, perhaps, it's a manufacturing defect. A few hours after the progress depressurization Saturday, there's more questions than answers. But none of this will comfort NASA as it partners with Russia to continue operating the space station. 
These latest Soyuz and Progress failures are just two in a long line of recent issues, including the NACA module's misfiring thrusters in 2021, a Soyuz booster failure in 2018 that forced Alexei Ochinin and Nick Haig to make an emergency return to Earth, or another leaky Soyuz vehicle. These are the kinds of problems that one expects from the space industry in Russia that's reliant on aging infrastructure, aging technology, and quality control issues due to inadequate budget. Not only spacecraft, but a Russian Cosmos 2499 satellite broke up last month for the second time, according to Space Force's 18th Space Defense Squadron. In a recent tweet, the Space Force said they're currently tracking 85 individual pieces of debris at an altitude of 1,169 kilometers at 726 miles. That breakup occurred on January 4th of this year, but the reason for the disintegration, it remains unknown. All this high altitude will take decades for the debris to deorbit and burn up in the atmosphere, and the presence of the debris is an increasingly busy region in Earth's orbit. But this is actually the second breakup event of Cosmos 2499. The first fragmentation was October 23rd, 2021, according to Jonathan McDowell, an astronomer at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, who also tracks space debris. That event created 22 pieces of trackable debris. The satellite has a curious history. Russia quietly launched Cosmos 2499 on May 23rd, 2014 but tracking indicated the satellite performed unusual maneuvers, leading some to speculate that it may be an experimental anti-satellite weapon, satellite maintenance vehicle, or collector of space debris. However, an article published on the official Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology on that website indicated the satellite was designed to test experimental plasma propulsion engines and ion thrusters. But the first and now second breakup event was thought to be caused by an explosion of that propulsion system. Leo Labs Incorporated, a commercial provider of low Earth orbit mapping and tracking, also tweeted about the current situation, saying that their analysis points toward a low intensity explosion due to the asymmetry of the debris cloud, magnitude of the velocity imparted to the fragments, and a known energetic source on board which would be known as the propulsion system. LEO Labs and another identical spacecraft, Cosmos 2491, exploded in 2020, and that event was attributed to an explosion of the propulsion system. This event follows a recent close call where two pieces of a leftover Soviet-era space junk passed within feet of each other January 27, 2023, and a piece of rocket stage came as close as 19.7 feet or 6 meters from a defunct satellite at the altitude of 611 miles or 984 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Had the two collided, they would have created a debris cloud filled with thousands of tiny pieces of dangerous space junk. Well, that about wraps up today's episode, and don't forget, share your ideas in the comments section. Your support motivates us to create more quality video. And for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you next time.